Hello, I'm Coyote Nitzer, and joining me today is Senator Peter Dong Johnson from Illinois. Did you send an inappropriate photograph to a college student via Twitter? I did not. She says that she never got it, and that's her loss. Clearly, it's some sort of prank about my name, Peter Dong Johnson. This is some sort of joke that has gotten an enormous amount of attention. The media is erect and ready to thrust judgment. Are you saying that this is not you? Nope. Clearly appears to be you. Photos can be manipulated. This photograph has the identical background to the office that you allowed me to conduct this interview today. Huh. Identical. Well, I'm not saying with any certitude that it isn't me. There is a striking resemblance to... Yeah. Okay, Senator. I'm sorry, I'm conducting some important government business. You just sent me the picture of your crotch that you just That's saw. That's preposterous. No, it isn't. It's got your tie in it. Senator, what are you doing? Look at that. You're sending these out via Twitter. Oh, you know what this is? This is gotcha journalism. Last year, when you were caught making racist remarks at a fundraiser... That story has never been proven. I have the tape right here. Why don't we just listen to it? I write math and to talk loud in the library, but I'm a bad driver, <laughs> and I also have teeny peeny. Oh. My name is Peter Dong Johnson. Clearly that's you. You actually had the audacity to say your own name at the end of the insensitive remarks. I did not say that, but I can say with certainty whoever did is hilarious. Do you have a yacht called Campaign Contributions? Yes, I do. Is there something wrong with that? You fathered a child. <laughs> This is not your illegitimate child with a woman that gives you manicures? I am not going to answer that. Listen, when Paul Revere crossed the Delaware to abolish slavery and fight the Spanish, he had questions to answer, but did he? No. Okay, you know what, this interview. I've made some terrible mistakes. And due to the overwhelming evidence that everything I have denied is actually true, I would like to now take responsibility. I apologize to my pregnant wife, my family, my constituents, America, and Paul Revere. I deeply regret not being honest, but most of all, I regret getting caught. I would also like to apologize for the fact that during this press conference, I have removed my pants. 